From here on out, all my videos are going to be filmed on aisle 39 for the perfect lighting in every situation. Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where Hobby Beekeeping is a way of life. We're headed to a campground to get some bees out of a camp house. This morning we're in a historic campground. Well that's historic looking. Even the bees want to get in, get in on the camping. There's some cedar side. Well, carpenter bees ate this stuff up and the birds finished destroying it. Getting them out. There is a whole lot of activity on this one. They are bringing in pollen. So, I'm not sure what we're going to get into here property owner does not know how long they've been here so this could be a sizable colony we'll see but man they are busy busy I didn't bring any pine straw and there's nary a pine tree in sight except that little one there <laughs> I'm trying to take this board and batten trim off this bat these battens off without destroying it as soon as I open it up, bees come boiling out like that. not pleasant at all. I have no clue how many things I just took. Probably a couple dozen. That hurt. So I'm gonna wait on the smoker and I did have protection on but I'm sleeveless. I'm gonna wait on the smoker and probably gonna have to put my bee suit on to at least while I get the wood off because these dudes are a little bit aggressive man can't believe that little bit of prying there stirred them up like that you about ready I just got ripped a new one I need that smoker <laughs> Right after some very liberal application of the smoke, I was able to tear this tram off and I see hive. And it looks like it goes from maybe six foot high to four foot high, but I can't really tell. Let's get some more wood off. I'm going back in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into them now. It looks like a pretty big hive and it's already dripping where I've torn the wood off the comb. There's some new comb they're filling with honey. Since I opened the wall up and saw what size it is, I know kind of what I'm dealing with. Where I'm going to start is by vacuuming that biggest cluster of bees up there. That is possibly where the queen has run to since I've been smoking them and rattling side and all. So I'll start vacuuming down here, work my way up, and just a little bit at a time until I make sure the queen is not in that cluster. Okay, now that I'm done with the prying and banging, they've calmed down a little bit. I'm starting to cut some comb and search for the queen as I go. Yeah. So I'm cutting. Uh, I'm cutting the brood out first. The, the honey's right there. I'm gonna leave it intact until last, just because it's so messy and uh, it's hard to see through this veil. Get some sunlight on me. 
So since they've calmed down, I'm just going to take this off and put a hat and some sunglasses on. Or some clear safety glasses if I can find some. We're getting there. I'm not sure still how far over this goes. I don't know if I'm going to take that board off because it does, that stud cavity does extend back there a little ways. I'm not sure how far it's probably. Let's see. Uh, it's a 24 inch stud cavity, so it should be, it could be twice as wide as what we've seen already. But I'm not going to take that board off until I get into this last piece of comb and see how far I think it goes. I don't know. You're gonna be surprised if it does? <laughs> I hope not. By the way, I did catch the queen one time, but she turned out to be a long, skinny drone. <laughs> <laughs> Still hadn't seen the queen. That's what's hard about doing these removals in the shade with a veil or sunglasses on. You have a hard time differentiating between the queen and drones. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you just can't see what you're doing. So that's why I do most of these with nothing on, and and usually like to wear some clear safety glasses but I've lost them so sunglasses it is for right now I'm a little over halfway done with what we could see when we pull that first board off and I'm still finding stingers in my arms <laughs> I'm telling you they tore me up when I pulled that board loose I got a hole right up there I'm having to watch where they're escaping into another space but they can't get out that way, so I'm having to vac them as they come back out of the hole from exploring. I just hope the queen didn't run up in there. Fun fact for you, I found a dead bumblebee up in the middle of the brood combs. He's right there. And I don't know if they killed him and couldn't get him out or what, but he was just stuck up in there. He wasn't. I had to kind of pull at him to get him out. He was kind of stuck in the combs. I don't know what that was all about. That was the queen. <laughs> yeah. Queen Bumblebee. Look at them all lined up in a row, trying to save what they can. And it continues. There's comb in the gap of the second board here's a good shot of some dirt divers nest honeybees and dirt divers don't necessarily cohabitate but a lot of times they use the same space so the bees have built onto dirt diver nests wasp up there we are done all except for that comb and about 10,000 bees <laughs> they're hiding up in that corner in that joist space right there so that's a good thing I got them all kind of cornered they hadn't really must not be much space up in that gap they were going to up there because they're not really going to it much anymore. Of course, I have been dissuading them with the vacuum cleaner. Let's see if this camera will pick up in the dark. These bees that are clustered in here.
that's where we're at. Almost done. Final tally is one five gallon bucket full to the top with comb honey. One basket full of bees. And one empty wall with half a dozen bees looking around. And we had to wash our mess up. There was honey everywhere. Because you became timid and you are afraid I left my smoker going. It looks like my truck is on fire. Now Lindsey Graham says <laughs> that I'm polarizing for saying Might to pull over things. and plug it. Got these ladies set up at their new home and I got mauled in the face. <laughs> Golly. Right on the bridge of the nose. Mm. That's going to be fun. There. After a hard day of bee catching, I highly recommend treating yourself to some marble slab creamery. Good stuff.